I think it's fun to look at warriors and very robust ancestral examples of athletes have been doing from a nutritional standpoint. I'll look at what your great great grandparent would have eaten to get big and strong. Look at what the the ancient you know Greek Olympians would have would have consumed to get big and strong and fit and fast. We see these natural things like eggs and fish and bone broth and organ meats and milk. Nature has given us clues. Nature has perfectly packaged many of the things that we need for anabolism, for muscle recovery, for neural tissue repair, for deep sleep. You know, if you look at nature, I mean, take for example milk. Take for example what a mammal supplies to its baby to allow that baby to grow into a robust, healthy, muscular, you know, full, athletic, moving animal. Raw, natural milk, as close to the source as possible. And then if you want to take this one step farther, you even choose milk that is more, uh, more thorough dynamically compatible with the human body. Camel's milk absolutely fits in as one of the most perfectly packaged protein sources that nature has to offer, as long as we can keep it as close to nature as possible. You don't separate the fats from the proteins and create an inflammatory firestorm. You instead keep milk the way it's supposed to be, right? The fats and the proteins all blended together. And you don't kill all the probiotics with pasteurization but you instead let the bacterial profile remain active. And when you look at natural milk like that, all of a sudden it becomes very, very compatible with this whole idea of living ancestrally. But it's just a matter of defying the status quo of what people would, would think that an athlete needs to perform and instead look at not just what an athlete needs to perform, but also what an athlete needs to live a long time and to be really healthy and feel good doing it.